11 to 12, Tabo and Zonki. Okay. They've got a partnership. Okay. What do they want? Okay, they want the valuation account and they want the goodwill. All right, so here's a nice short calculation question looking at the valuation account in terms of their share of the benefit. And then obviously, goodwill will be calculated assuming, okay, a certain amount was contributed towards the partnership, okay, by the new partner. All right, so. Question 11. And 12, actually. Okay, partnership. All right, T and Z. Profits and losses, uh, losses, three to two. So three over five. Two over five. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. T and Z. 3 over 5, 2 over 5. Uh, 3 over 5, 2 over 5. Is that correct? Yeah, it's correct. Perfect. Okay. They agreed to admit M. Okay. It was decided that M must contribute 150. For 20%. Tabo and Zonki um, relinquished the 20% share, okay, to M according to the ratio of 1 to 2. Okay, so 1 to 2 means 1 over 3 of 1 over 5. And the other partner relinquished 2. 2 out of 3 of the 1 over 5. Okay, so what are they going to have left? Uh, this is going to give me... Uh, let's see. Ooh, mathematics. Okay, so uh, a third of... So that means multiply. So it'll be 1 over 15. And this will be 2 over 15. Okay, 1 over 15, 2 over 50 gives me 3 over 15. 3 over 15 is 1 over 5, which is correct. Okay, so I need to convert this to 15 so it'll be 9 over 15 uh, this will be 6 over 15 times 3 times 3 is that right yeah 15 over 15 is the whole company great okay so what does t have left t has 9 over 15 minus 1 over 15 is 8 over 15. Okay, 6 over 15 minus 2 over 15 is 4 over 15. All right, and this will be 1 over 5, which is 3 over 15. Okay, so 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15 over 15. Good, that's everything. Perfect, okay. All right, so we've got everything. All right, let's have a look at the valuation. Okay, you've got capital, capital, current, current. You've got furniture, vehicles, for receivables, payables. Okay, what do they want? Uh, prepare the change in the ownership structure of the existing partnership. Uh, the following fair values are applicable. Okay, so obviously furniture, equipment, vehicles consulting fees, etc. Okay, the partners agreed that the partnership will trade under the name MNFP following that mission of M. Right, which of the following alternatives represents the correct share of the value account balance at? Okay, so we need to look at the valuation. Furniture and equipment, what happened to it? It went up or down? It went up. Right, how much is the furniture and equipment? One six seven five hundred. 
less. What is the carrying amount? 105. 105. All right. So the valuation account will be. Okay. Then you're going to debit that. You'll credit the current uh, T and Z. Okay. So T is going to get. How much does T get? T gets 3 over 5. Obviously, Z gets the rest. Okay, there's furniture and equipment. All right, vehicles, did it go up or down? Vehicles went down. Okay, vehicles went down by how much? Uh, 315 less 304,500. Okay, valuation, debit the valuation. Okay, so now I have to credit the valuation and I'm going to debit. T and Z. Okay, so T is going to get three fifths. Obviously, the rest goes to Z. Okay, next, consulting fees receivable, all right, 76,500. Okay, um, so uh, let's think about this. Okay, is this evaluation? Um, in preparation of the change in the ownership structure, the existing partnership, the following fair values regarding the assets therefore were obtained. Okay, yeah, you do have to take it into consideration. All right, so consulting fees receivable. Seven down, you would credit. Yeah, debit the? Valuation account. Uh, no, consulting fees receivable. Consulting fees receivable. If it's consulting fees receivable, what does that mean? It means the fees will be received. Receivable. Receivable means... Uh, consulting fees receivable. Here, there's it. Consulting fees. Oh, okay, I see it. I see yeah, it. Went down. I see it. I see it. I see it. There's it. Trade receivables. Consulting yeah. fees. Eighty two. What is it? Seventy six. Did it go up or down? It went down. down. Okay, so it's actually this one. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay, just got to think carefully and make sure it's correct. All right, uh, amounts. What is it? 82,500. What is it now? 76,500. Okay, so decreased by 6. T gets a slice, Z gets a slice. Okay, so total for T. Total for Z. Okay, T. Where are you, T? T, 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 T gets, T gets plus 7, 37, 5. T gets minus 6, 3. T gets minus 3, 6. Okay, there's T. Z, 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 25 minus the 4, 2 minus the 2, 4. Okay. All right, which option? 3. Yes. Okay, number four says, calculate the goodwill. Okay, but they said here, assume. Assume the share valuation account for Z uh, is O. Okay, so this is the share valuation account for Z. Why would you need Z? O, okay, I get it. All right, because um, Z is the existing partner. But you would need T as well, actually. Uh, but you'd probably be able to work it out. Okay, it's fine. Which one of the following rep alternative represents the correct amount for goodwill required? Okay, so uh, formula. I need a formula. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I think it's total consideration minus the equity of the new partnership, but I could be wrong. I'm just trying to think off offhand. 
let's rather just look at the notes. Um, this was, which chapter would this have been? I think number three. Uh, yeah, number three or number four. I think number three, actually. Let me just open up my notes. Yes. Where are you, Good Goodwill? There. Okay. All right. I want this. That's what I want. Okay. So, paste. All right, goodwill equals. Total 100% consideration. Okay, so how much did he pay? He paid, he paid 150 for, five, for a fifth. So 150 times five, is 750 is the total consideration okay so that's the total value 750 okay uh minus total equity of the new partnership okay that we need to work out okay so we need the question all right i need to go back and i need to work out the owner's equity in the company currently all right, so capital. How much capital does T have? 288. How much does Z have? 192, 200. Okay. All right, we need to allocate um, the current account to the capital. So capital for T is good, plus 9. Capital for Z is debit, minus. Minus how much? 22. Okay, so there's the new capital. Obviously, we've taken the valuation into consideration. Okay, so uh, valuation. Okay, uh, where's T's? T's was, where's T's? Here's T's. And where's Z's? There's Z's. Okay, T's and Z's. Okay, T's and Z's. Okay, you've got the valuation. All right, obviously the valuation was what? Positive or negative? It was positive. So that means the credit was bigger than the debit, which it was, so that'll increase their capital. Okay, so new capital. All right, there's the new capital. Okay, so that's the new capital. Okay, um, and obviously the 150 gives you sum up, gives you 799. Okay, so what is the total consideration? The consideration was that. That was the consideration. Um, obviously, the consideration is less than, so there's, there's no goodwill here. Okay, but that's not what they said. They said that you had to assume a negative. Okay, so basically they said here, uh, assume the share of valuation account for Z is 8,000 valuation loss. Okay, so they're saying, I'm going to copy paste this. Ooh, I want those amounts though. Okay, was that right? I think that's still right. Is that still right? Yeah, that's still right. Okay, great. Okay, so they're telling me that assume Z's valuation was a loss. So in other words, minus eight grand. Okay. That's Z's share. 
Okay, remember, what was the split? The split was 3 over 5, 2 over 5. Okay, so um, obviously if I divide this by 3 and I divide this by 2, I'm going to get that. Yes, I do. Okay, so it's it's 3 over 5, 2 over 5. Okay, so... So one, so eight, so minus eight thousand is equivalent to two over five. Okay, so what is three over five going to be? Um, minus eight thousand divided by two times by three, twelve thousand. Okay, so minus twelve thousand. All right, so now I've got the same ratio: three fifths and two fifths of the valuation. Okay, that's mathematics. Okay, again, let's check it. 12 divided by 3 gives you 1 fifth. 8 divided by 2 gives you 1 fifth. That's correct. Okay, so based on what they said in the question, assume a negative 8 grand for Z gives you that valuation. Okay, let's update this. Okay, gives me a new capital amount of five, nine, seven, eight, a uh, two. Okay, total consideration was seven and a half. So we'll see, seven hundred and fifty. Okay, now I can finish it. Okay, minus what is this? Five nine seven two hundred equals one five two eight hundred option three. Okay, I really don't like this multiple choice story because you're having to redo calculations again and again and again, which is problematic. I don't know how you feel about this, but I'm not so happy about multiple choice. But I mean, you get the right answer eventually. No, am I? And have you realized how long it takes? Um, well, yeah, it can take long. But remember, we're revising and we're going through it as well. So it's going to take us long anyway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Perfect. Okay, uh, did I answer 11? Where was my answer for 11? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, there's it there. Okay, 11 was option 3. 12 was option 3. 